Alright. What's happening? It's your boy B High for All Hip Hop.com stepping in the building. I got a beautiful woman from the islands. I mean got the new mixtape. I am Chris Kelly out. Turn up, turn up. I mean, tell me about it, sister. Now, I'm super excited about this project. Really excited. Seven hot tracks on there, including one of the singles that, you know, people have been showing a lot of love to called Wonderful Woman. It's mm -hmm. the seventh track written by Neil. Mm -hmm. So I'm very proud of this project. That's why I'm going all out with it. You know, all hip-hop, just giving it a lot of love. I appreciate the love. Mm -hmm. And we're just going on. We're taking it over. I just heard a track earlier that Daddy Mine. Yeah, dirty mind. Yeah, that dirty mind. I mean, that thing was going off. Tell yeah. me about how that you came know, about. You know, we 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 may we, you know. We're gonna do a little teaser to that visually, uh -huh. so you can look out for that soon. Mm -hmm. But it's a very sexual, you mm -hmm. know, song. But you know, we still kind of keep it classy, all you know, as much as we take it sexual, mm -hmm. we're very classy with it. Mm -hmm. But I mean. I love that record. It's one of my favorite records, mm -hmm. and it's a record I think people itching to leak out because mm -hmm. people are like, hold on, who sing this record? Because mm -hmm. it kind of have that slight dancehall edge to it because mm -hmm. of my accent, because I don't say dirty mind, I say dirty mind. That's so, right. You know, people feeling it because mm -hmm. of the whole edge. So. Now, tell me about where you're from and give me a little bit of your background. Well, born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Full island girl all the way. All right. Right to the fullest, mm -hmm. right my country. All day, every day. Mm -hmm. But you know, did music, always grew up doing music. My parents always encouraged me, mm -hmm. you know, to call my family members, sing to them on the phone every day. I couldn't even run away from it. It was like crazy. Yeah. I really didn't know that it was something special I had because I thought, you know, growing up with a talent, I thought everybody could sing. Because mm -hmm. it's something that comes so naturally to me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, why, why, everybody keep asking me to sing? Why y'all don't sing? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, till I grew up and I realized, okay, I was fortunate to have this talent. Let me make the most of it. Now and I, I look on it like a blessing, so I've just been singing all my life. Now, I see where you hooked up with that boy, Beanie Man and Vibes Cartel. Oh, yeah, I think I hooked up with, mm -hmm. like, musically hooked up with everybody in Jamaica, who is a top name. Because, yeah. you know, I did my thing down there. I was based in Jamaica for eight years before I moved to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I traveled the world, I did, you know, did a lot, learned mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was in the game for ten years, yeah. like nine, not, about nine years before I moved up here. Now, tell me about so, that transition from Jamaica to Atlanta. I mean, how was, was that for you? It was crazy. Uh-huh. But it was something that I think I expected because I know it was going to be hard work. Mm -hmm. You know, I said to myself, I'm moving from one market to another. Mm -hmm. But I've also done that in terms of I toured Europe, I toured Japan for years. Mm -hmm. So I, I was accustomed to knowing different sounds of music and what was accepted mm -hmm. in other places other than Jamaica where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like, you know, I'm ready. You yeah. know, I know it's hard work, but I linked up with Block and I think it's just a perfect combination. He's a, you go hard with everything he does and, and so do I. So we just go hard. Now you hooked up with the East Side Chevy Rider Block. Yeah. I mean, how did that come about? Man, we met each other on social media, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm one that's always networking. I'm always pushing my stuff out there. Mm -hmm. You know, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. Mm -hmm. And it was just one day I was just, you know, promoting my stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, somebody from his label, Block Atlanta at the mm -hmm. time, that's the account they were working with on Twitter. They mm -hmm. reached out to me and I was like, you guys know that I'm moving to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know. I just made up my mind. I'm coming to Atlanta because most of the people who I checked who I wanted to work with mm -hmm. were based here. Mm -hmm. All the singers, songwriters, and producers. That's right. So I said, you know what? I need to come to Atlanta, even though I don't really know anybody. Mm -hmm. too tough. But, you know, it was divine intervention. Yeah. Two weeks later, his him personally, reached, he reached out to me on Twitter and was like, yo, send me some stuff. And I always have tracks ready. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, I sent him some stuff, some pics for him to see what I look like. Mm -hmm. And I said, man, in the following month, I was up here working mm -hmm. with him ever since. You now, can't tell me that's not a blessing. Oh, yeah, it definitely yeah. is. Now, Chris, how would you describe your sound and what makes you different from everybody else? I think it's just crazy. I just think my sound is so different. I mean, mm -hmm. it can't be put into one word or you can't put me into a box. Mm -hmm. Because of me being born and raised, I listen to a lot of old school music like Stylistics, Delphonics, Manhattans, mm -hmm. because of my dad. Mm -hmm. That's his influence. Mm -hmm. So I take that sound in me. I mm -hmm. love Shirley Bassey, Nancy Wilson. I love jazz. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then I did reggae and dance for 10, 12 years. Mm -hmm. That come naturally to me because I'm Jamaican, so doing that is nothing. Yeah. So I think it's just a, a, a mixture of everything mixed up to form my own unique sound of edgy street, hip hop, and dance. I'll mix, blend it up into one container. Mm -hmm. But I don't like even placing a name for it because yeah. that means I'm in a box. Exactly. So it's just, I just feel free and I'm I'm happy to be working with Black who is able to understand the freedom of an artist where we don't want to put no names to it yeah. really. I mean, being with music. Block, a man that's been 10 toes down in the game for a minute, I mean, yeah. could you describe to me some of the stuff that you learned from him just being up on and working with him? 
But I used to think I went hard, but seeing his work ethic is crazy. I mean, he just has a passion for music. Mm -hmm. He loves music, and he loves to see people realize their dreams. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a major thing. That's really big. You know, mm -hmm. he also knows how to recognize a true talent. Mm -hmm. You know, so he has a knack for that, mm -hmm. you know, all day, every day. So I learn a lot in terms of, you know, I go hard, but I see every time he goes harder, he doesn't even have to do this no more, but he still go hard. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You could be on an island somewhere chilling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you <Yeah>. understand? <laughs> but he's still doing it because he loves to see people realize their dreams. So I appreciate mm -hmm. that. So because of that, I go hard. Mm -hmm. You understand? So he, he really makes me step up my game, keeps mm -hmm. me on my Tools, which is a good thing. Already now, as an artist, I mean, what can we expect at a Chris Kelly show? Craziness. Uh huh. You know, shoes off, <laughs> lips are uh, mad vibe. I mean, it, you know, it's just unpredictable. Mm -hmm. And I really just like any dancehall artist. We go by the crowd and we hype up the crowd and mm -hmm. we kind of feed off of them. They feed off of us. Mm -hmm. So really, I I would normally have a planned thing that I'm going to do on stage, and mm -hmm. it never happens. I always do the opposite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they they kind of you know tell me what to do kind of in terms of mm -hmm. their vibe and i work off of them they feed off of me so right. it's always unpredictable okay and also what is the inspiration behind a lot of your music where do you find your inspiration from well i mean i've been really honored to work with some amazing singers and songwriters especially right now i'm working with um, a new cat in the game called J-Rel. He's mm -hmm. super duper singer, super talented producer, vocal producer, everything. He makes beats, everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because of, you know, him having such a drive in the business, just like myself, mm -hmm. he's like the male version of me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we relate to each other in terms of we're in the situation in the music business where we're hungry for it. Mm -hmm. but we're talented and nothing will stop us. So we help to build up each other. And he is really good in bringing out stuff out of me that I didn't even know was there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think both of us collaborate really, really well together. And it's just an inspiration of every day where I come from. Like I have a song that's not going to be out at all. It's going to be from an album actually called Rum and Bullets. And mm -hmm. it depicts where I'm from, where we walk the streets, you mm -hmm. know, with my rum. You know, we know for Rome, yeah. and, you know, bullets. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a bad man country, what can I say? So, Already. Yeah, so it kind of delves deeper into me and where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So we get inspiration from everyday life all over. I can definitely do that. And lastly, what is next for Chris Kelly? But I'm just so, you know, it's just www.imchriskelly.com. People mm -hmm. who can see me in the streets mm -hmm. or see my warriors in the streets and get my mixtape, make sure you go on to www.imchriskelly.com. Download the mixtape. You know, just give me feedback. Follow mm -hmm. me on Instagram. It's Chris Kelly. Follow me on Twitter. But you have to spell it right. It's mm -hmm. K-R-I-S-K-E-L-L-I. Just check out enough, enough, enough things to come in the future. I'm telling you, I'm doing music videos. I'm doing photo shoots. We just working non-stop, oh, you understand? Really? There's there's really, you know, no ceiling. We're just going straight to the top. I can definitely dig it. Well, sister, appreciate you coming through oh, this yeah, thing, babe. Yeah. Wish you nothing but the best and Thank much success. You. Be High Radio, shout it, man. Let's go.